Hey guys, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Leo, Leo, Leo you are up. It is your turn. It's time for us to see what's in your cup. Do you have emotions? Huh? Yeah. Not only do you have emotions in your cup, you got emotion everywhere. It's all over the place. Your emotions, Leo, they're all over the place for some reason or another. That's for somebody. God, universe, angels, spirit gods and ancestors, please give us some clear and concise messages. For the sign of Leo. What messages do we have for the sign of Leo? What do we need to know at this time? For the Leos. Tower on the bottom of the deck. Somebody could have had a powerful realization about some emotion. <clears throat> Some emotion. Why? Because they're all over the place now. Tell me about messages for Leo. What do we have for Leo? Messages for Leo. First card out says Ten of Materials. Ooh. The Ten of Pentacles. Somebody wanna let's get married. Is what I heard. Yeah, four of inspirations. They wanna go have something stable, possibly even go into union. That's the 11-11 card. What else we got for Leo? Messages for the Leos. But there's some type of confusion here for voices. Something that you just need to know is what I'm getting with that. Messages for Leo. Banging in the balance. Healing. Three of voices. Healing some type of hurt. With possibly a queen of swords. Or just with somebody that you may have turned your back on. Or somebody that may have turned their back on you. So yeah. So we got somebody wanting to find a balance in a relationship here. Are they trying to balance out their finances in order to have something stable with somebody? But there's hurt here. And there's confusion. And there's somebody turning their back. Tell me about this tin of materials for Leo. Tell me about the tin of materials. Okay, that one just flipped out of my hand. We're not keeping that. But we're going to keep these two that flipped. The sun. That's your energy, Leo. The sun and the key. Uh -huh. Somebody got the key to something. Your happiness. Somebody got this key to your happiness that you want to balance it out. Tell me about this key. Tell me about this key. Page of materials. The ace of materials. The five of voices. And the muse of emotions. I want to see number. What's that? These two cards is 31 and 33. I want to go through here and see what number 32 is. Because that's the missing factor. The moon. Deep emotions or something being illuminated that was not illuminated. Five of Voices said that there's a bad decision or some type of deceptive that had deception that happened. Somebody made a bad decision, but now they want to come in here and present a small offer, but something stable nonetheless. Maybe even a gift as well, along with the offer. They want to bring it in with emotions. They want to talk about something that they maybe didn't express the way they wanted to or the way they should have. Tell me about the four of inspirations. I ain't even supposed to be clarifying with that. Seven of emotions and the ten of voices. Tell me about the four of inspirations. For Leo. A mountain. The mountain card. Let's see what that's about. Ain't 
said high enough. Ain't no mountain high enough to keep you from this union. Say keeping me from getting to you, baby. Isolation, delay, obstacles, deadline. The mountain car represents the presence of a barrier on the way to a desired location. Partner refusing to compromise or a mountain of misunderstandings. So there could be a mountain of mis there's a big but somebody wants to go in a union here, but there's a big huge obstacle in the way. <clears throat> Excuse me, of them getting taking charge of this love. And what is the big huge obstacle? Tell me about this mountain. Night of Voices, The Hanged Muse, and the Seven of Materials. So it's about it's, it's, it's Ace of Wands and the Awakening. It's about somebody going through an awakening and seeing this Ace of Wands differently now than they did. It's about somebody in the past being stagnated because they lacked the perspective. So I feel like somebody's charging through that mountain though. I feel like this was past energy with the seven of pentacles of what that was the mountain. And I feel like on top of all of that, it was confusion with the seven of emotions. But there's being an end put to that with the ten of voices. Tell me about this two of voices here for Leo. Tell me about the two of voices for Leo. Crossroads. That's the same card. <laughs> so we got this two of voices. Lilies. Let's see about the lilies. Experience, maturity, wisdom, honor, purity. This card is, uh, is this is a card of virtues. Excellent prospects, prospects, success through right actions. So somebody's decided. So somebody, it's like, I feel like this is a double cross row here. So it's like somebody was confused, right? And they didn't know which way to go. Maybe went the wrong way. But now they decided to go the opposite way of the one they went because they decided they've grown. They've changed. They, they changed the way they view things, the way they see things. They've grown. They've balanced. They're, they've matured. Okay. Tell me about the temperance. Well, never mind. Tell me about the lilies. Nine of material. Somebody's grown within their self. They've changed the direction of their own life, thus changing their perspective. And they're able to see things much more clearly. Seven of emotions. Eight of emotions. Somebody's walking away. Somebody's walking away from something material here. Somebody's walking away from materialistic gain. I'll just say that. To have calmer waters with somebody. Somebody's giving up some type of financial. Tell me about crossroads. Two of inspirations in reverse. Somebody's made a decision. Ten of emotions. Somebody's made a decision. The crossroads. So somebody was at a crossroads. Until somebody was like, you know what? I'm not doing this no more. The Queen of Wands is who I feel like it was, Leo. Somebody come in here, turn their back on you. So, you know, they decided I'm not doing this no more. I'm retreating from you. I'm just, I'm bored with it. But that puts you in a position, move, kitty, to miss an opportunity because you allowed yourself to take trap in your thoughts when it comes to emotional fulfillment. So, but you're not doing that no more. Why? Because this Queen of Voices has turned her back and I feel like you can feel it. You can feel it. Tell me about temperance for Leo. Lady. Mm -hmm. Now you want to balance it out. You want to send a letter. You want to protect this new beginning. Okay.
But I feel like there's some type of snake in the back. There could be somebody, some snaky person in the background. With the snake, the moon, and the tower, and the mice. Trying to cause you to lose something. Wow. Something about the lady. Ace of Voices. That's who you want to bring clarity and truth to. To bring the beginning to. You want to speak truth uh, about seek about something below the surface, about somebody suppressing emotions or avoiding emotions and somebody putting an end to that now because they're ready to speak. They're ready to have emotions. They're ready to dive in now because this hurt, I feel like, was a possible problem. I'm talking about three of voices. The anchor. Yep, they're ready to, to have something stable, something Something solid. We got the garden card coming out in the reverse and the whips. So let's get my book. Where's my book? Girl, we'll fight about my plan. Get on, kitty. <laughs> I would never light you on fire, kitty. Didn't even strike you. I'm trying to knock my blunt out the ashtray. I ain't gonna have that. So, uh, the whips represents quarrel, discord, punishment, and conflict. So somebody wants to punish. Somebody was trying to punish somebody or teach them a lesson. Well, they thought they was, but with the garden card reverse, it says holiday, society, activities, and illusion. It refers to activities outside the house. In a relationship, it reveals a shallow relationship based on a joint activity rather than a depth of feelings. Okay. So what's up here? Okay. So that, that's what the mountain is. The mountain is you where you was at one point was a good place. Where you ending up whipped your ass. And it brought you right out of an illusion. Now you're able to see exactly where you want to anchor your shit at. So what's this that whipped your ass? Or whipped the ass of the person coming to talk. Tell me about this whips. Somebody's like purposely trying to get somebody to suffer. Yeah. Why is it all reverse? Oh, the whip? Oh, okay, because... Okay, because somebody... Tower reverse, five of pentacles reverse, and the fool reverse. Somebody didn't take a leap of faith. Somebody was supposed to take a leap of faith and they didn't. So, but now I think they're trying to now because they want to avoid this tower and they want to avoid being left out in the cold. Guard and reverse because now the illusion has been shattered. The illusion of their ego, possibly. The illusion of whatever it was. Tell me about this guard and reverse. Tell me about Garden Reverse for Leo. Yep, the illusion's been shattered. With the Page of Voices, somebody gained a new perspective here. Around possibly being in and out, juggling shit. Putting where they put the work into. Musing materials could be King of Pentacles in the mix. But somebody's realizing exactly what the fuck happened. And they're waking up. And they're ready. Now they see the high priestess. Their intuition is telling them. Showing them. Look at that toxic ass shit you did to the empress. Ooh. That's not good. Tell me about the anchor. That's why the heartbreak is here. Because somebody's being shown what they did. Inspiration. The muse. That's Leo energy. The muse of voices. That's the king of wands. All of the kings are out here. Which lets me know this is the emperor. This is definitely the emperor. He's becoming the emperor and realizing the deception that he's done to his empress. Where he wants to... Tell me the seven of voices. What's the seven of voices? Yep. The deception he done to his empress. I'll make this up. The toxicness he brought into this connection because he just wasn't, he wasn't following his intuition. Look at that. His hand was up towards his intuition. His intuition was trying to lead him to an equal give and take. But he didn't listen. He might be you, Leo. Tell me about the devil. 
Now you able to see why somebody done turned their back. Yeah. You want the victory now. You might even be borderline obsessed with it or this person is. Somebody done turned their back now. Tell me about Queen of Voices. Queen of Voices. about this queen of voices for leo stars look the bear says he want to stand up and protect that shit send out a letter about something new and protect it okay let's get my book back out what number is a star 16 Goals, achievements, destiny, inspiration, clarity. This person knows without a reasonable doubt why they this person turned their back. And now they're ready to go in here protected as the bear. Have something brand new with the child energy. A childhood, childhood trust, a new stage, immaturity. It's the beginning of a path. This card describes tender yet powerful emotions. Such at the beginning of a romance or the birth of a child. So somebody has deep and powerful emotions and they're ready to speak about it. They realize that this is destiny and they need to give into it. There's no way around it. And it took them a while. They had to go. To, I feel like they had to go the hard way. They took the hard way. Yeah. Tell them about the stars. But they finally realized that this is their destiny. Now that the empress done turned her back. Yep. Yeah. They realize where their heart lies and where they want to make this offer. They realize they want to go into reconciliation because it was written in the stars. Tell me about the bear. Yeah, they've been through an awakening and now they're ready for to, protect, to protect this. To protect this. This nine of wands is guarded, but it's also standing up and fighting for what belongs to you, what you've worked so hard this far for. The star is healing. And getting your wish come true. Your inspiration is planning a future. and um, Also waiting. Tell me about the childhood part. Well, tell me about letter first. Tell me about letter. Tell me about letter. Two of emotions. Somebody wants to send out an offer of your love. They want to start fresh. Deep, new, childlike love. Ten inspirations. It's a lot of passion too. Ultimately, still they want to go in the, in the union, in the lovers connection. Tell me about child. Tell me about child. Tell me about child for Leo. There's the emperor taking charge to move forward with the chariot towards his wish fulfillment. He misses the empress. He really does. And he needs to start fresh with her. He got so much passion built up for her with this ten of inspirations. And he just needs to start fresh. He just needs to look how look how this person looks like they, they're just longing to do something. He's just longing to start fresh with this empress. And new love. He's longing to have her in his arms by his side. He wants to put this cycle to an end. Some type of closure. So that they can have this equal give and take. And it's taking a minute, but he's doing it. And his intuition is helping leading him there. Differences of opinion and all. He wants this lover's connection. And he wants to reconcile. And he's passionate about it. We are a Virgo in the in the mix. But he wants a brand new start in this collaboration. Justice says he wants to balance it out. And here comes the communication. Incoming. And but it's taking a lot of strength and courage. Because somebody wants to apologize. For all the stress and anxiety that they caused. And they want to stand up and fight for this connection. Because it makes them really happy. So let's get you some advice. From the Oracle. The mermaid, the romance oracles. God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Please give us clear and concise advice for the sign of Leo regarding this spread. What advice do we have for the Leo regarding this spread?
advice for Leos regarding this spread. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. I feel like you know that, Leo. But this is advice confirming it for you. This is your soulmate. So you just need to find that courage. That courage, you know. There's really no way around it. You can't just not do something. You did that the first time. Love yourself first. I feel like that's the process you went through here. Self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Thus, how you can even see things the way you're supposed to anyway because you went through the phase. You're went, you're, or you're working through it. The only way your perception changes is if you change. Or you only change with the perception. And since you made it this far to see differently, that means you started to change. You had to. To even see that this is your son made because at some point you didn't. Possibly because you didn't love yourself the way you should have. Which we all get to at some point of our life or another. Advice for Leo regarding the spread. Let your friends help you. And finances and careers are a factor of your love life. Somebody working on their finances. Heart to heart conversation. Same thing cancer got dang there. But that's what I got for you Leo. And I do hope it helped. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.